This is about how things definitely look versus how things actually are. When you think about strategy and you break it down, strategy as like a battle plan or a plan for action. At its core, you really need a couple of things. You need data or data, what's happening out there, and you need insight. You need understanding. So data plus insight or understanding is what you need to truly formulate a good battle plan. You take into account what's happened, what you project to be happening, and you extrapolate from all your knowledge, all your understanding, how to proceed from this moment forward. Now, here's the problem. There's how things look versus how things actually are. You see, your head will color things like, well, there's this guy. Let's say he slighted you. He did something mean that you feel was undeserved by you. And you felt that he was in no way, shape, or form justified to do that. And it could be he's beneath you in some way in your mind, or he owes you in some way or mind, or he's violated contracts of agreement or partnership. Think of the circumstances. It can be as simple as somebody who's done you bad in the past and now has the gal to judge you about stuff which, well, he has no knowledge or understanding for. And think about every bully on planet Earth and you have some idea of what it's like to be slighted like that. And you can use that. Now here, there's how things look versus how things actually are. Because it will definitely look like he's an absolute turd of an ass and that he deserves definitely to die. And then, of course, after your rush of thoughts and feelings and anger pass, well, he's still possibly an A. He's still possibly an ass. He's still possibly a sh He's still possibly a turd of a person. But maybe he doesn't really deserve to die. And, you know, then later after you've calmed down even more, you know what? He's had an off day as well. I've had an off day and uh, we clashed. And this could be anyone on planet Earth. He or she, somebody who believes there's something in between, an it, like an event, like it'll definitely look sometimes like traffic is personal, like it's out to get you, like it's making your circumstances more difficult on purpose. Or that life is just built as a system to run against you and uh, things are never in your favor. But in truth, there's how things look. And even if it definitely absolutely looks that way and how things actually truly are, minus all the flavor of emotion sauteed in and burnt crisp. So, if strategy is data plus insight, the clearer your head is, the more you can see and the better you function from this moment going forward. So, it just behooves on you to have a clear mind. And now the question, how do you see more clearly when in the moment you can't? Well, here's a heuristic I used to use. You take a thought. Like, in this case, he's an A, he's an ass, he's a turd. And then you think about it. You stop yourself and reconsider. Is that true? Is he definitely an ass? Is it not true? Is he actually not an ass? Is it both true and not true? Is he both an ass and not really an ass. And the possibility that both are false. Like, he's not an ass and he's not not an ass. I mean, he's not really an ass. And, well, he was just having an off day. <laughs> and you were both human. And things happened. And you can track back to any relationship you have. And this will make even more sense. If you run your thought by the heuristic, the algorithm, the matrix of, is it true? that thought you have that's making things really bad. And you know which thought to attack. 
because you'll feel definitely real. Like the more angry you are, the more pissed off you are, the more definite you are that you're right and the other person's wrong. So you run that through the matrix. Is it true? Is it not true? Is it both true and not true? Is it possibly not true and not not true? And your head will start to clear. And you know, it's, it's one thing to get the intellectual idea of this once. And then it's another thing to keep practicing it, keep checking thoughts which rattle you and check, is it true? What if it's not? What if it's not exactly what it seems? And if you make this a habit, so many layers of emotions fall away and your head clears just so much faster each time you learn to engage in this way. And well, another way that you might like that I came to much later in the game is to simply understand that, well, you have feelings and your feelings will stem from your thoughts and your thoughts will color your world. It will definitely look the way it seems to be to you until it's not. And understanding that it doesn't seem the way it is even though it will always seem at the moment to be the way it looks to you. Understanding that your thoughts paint your world it gives you that ability to function above how it looks and allows you to enter the realm of being limitless. And in this realm of being limitless, you, you have a meta perspective. You have the ability in an instant, even when you're emotional, to in the next moment allow yourself the possibility of just dropping that crap in because it's just not necessary. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not perfect at this. And I don't need to be humble because I have my friends to both keep me humble and sometimes purposely make me humble or humiliate me for my own good. And <laughs> despite that, I got to tell you, this has helped me so many times. I can't even begin to tell you how much better it's made my life to just be able to know that... <laughs> My thoughts paint my reality, and even though it looks completely true, that image I have about how things are, it's never exactly that way. And this allows me to break beyond my limits. And I hope this has helped you as well. See you at Limitless. Cheers.